what's up youtubers and thanks for joining me once again today i'm at this familiar site which is right behind me called d illingworth and son it's actually a very old mill that goes back to the 1860s i think that's when it was built 1860 and i've done a video on this before and check it out it's actually called uh, egyptian tomb for a bradford man so the owner was a bradford man and i actually took you to the uh well in the video i've taken you guys to the uh undercliff cemetery where there's a real famous mausoleum in the form of a, an egyptian tomb and it's an incredible little monument but today the purpose is to actually try to get into this building and have a look around because I, i'm a local lad and uh this building i used to pass it every day when i used to go to school so if I can get in, I'll be really chuffed. So bear with me, let's have a little walk around. What are you thinking, Piaz? I know you've just uh, parked up. What's your first impressions of the mill? I'm stunned. It's, it's a big place. It's, it's old. There's still a, seems to be an old mill pond here. And, and there's some, some sort of a feature behind us, behind the car park. Yeah. And where there are ducks and things. And yeah. I've just been behind there, I've just <laughs> recorded the ducks and the swans and what have you. Yeah. But uh, did you know there was a car park behind here? I didn't know that. I thought it was just a building facing onto the main road and right. everything else, but yeah. it's got beautiful features around the yeah. back of the building. I mean, it really is. It's well, I've seen to the viewers earlier on. I've seen to the viewers earlier on. It's not just the, obviously this area is derelict at the moment, yeah. and we're going to try to get in today. Okay. But it's a massive complex as you drive down Thornton Road, as That's you know. Right, yeah. I don't know if that bit's been burnt out, but what a yeah yeah asset to have. Yeah. I think it was one of the biggest uh, wool industry mill going around at the time in the 1860s. Yeah. And um, yeah, let's go around, let's have a look, see yeah, if we so can. I wonder if this is the original water wheel somewhere. I don't know, I don't know. Pond, I mean, I don't know. I'm Where guessing the, uh, you reckon this is the original feature of the water? I do, I do, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. Because I know that. Yeah, where the where the the uh, ducks are and stuff yeah. like that looks relatively modern to me mm. a bit of landscaping but this and there are actually fish in there i realized the other day yeah there's a couple of uh local businesses that are renting uh areas of this building yeah that's good at least it's all yeah at least they're making use of it yeah it, yeah and it, it proves that uh, it's still needed it? yeah yeah let's go here this is the first floor i believe yep Wow, look at this. Massive. Easy, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, this is work in progress, isn't it? This yeah. One. Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. How yeah, amazing that. Cleaning it. Clearly not in use. See if your lights uh You put your light and see how strong it is. Yeah, so that's the, uh, the original, yeah? It is, yeah, so... It's still in the lift shaft there. Right? Make sure you see some of the... So, I don't know, just be careful here. I don't know what's happening here, but... Oh, there's a nest up there. Where? This corner's first pillar. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. A few butterflies as well, add to the scenery. Oh, look at this. Yeah. This uh, video is going to be quite patchy in light, so bear with me. But the main thing is, we're inside. So these are the original uh, yeah, window, frames. window frames, yeah. Look at that extractor fan. Let's have a look at the view outside. Yeah, there's the main chimney there. This building is not as tall as that one, I don't know. Which gives you an idea of its height. Yeah. Actually, um, if you go on the internet, you can see old photographs, 
for inside when I say old maybe 10 years ago yeah. and it used to be really interesting a lot of the stuff has just been uh, taken out the original stuff yeah. do you know what I'm hoping is each floor tells a different story yeah. and each floor gives us something different to shoot do you know over there you see the lift the shaft obviously I'm not going to go there it's very dangerous but you can see there's a lift yeah and you can see the the elevator itself, I think. Is that the, uh, what's that stairwell next to it or something? It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, so you've got a separate door. But I mean, uh, but yeah, but clearly that's a lift. And... Well, that's how yeah. So, I mean, I don't know what the future holds for this, but it looks like somebody's on the case. Mm. It's a damn shame, isn't it? It's a real shame. It's a shame. Could be another uh, Western Builds project. I hope so. I mean, it's a, it's a lovely project though to, to sort of bring yeah. back to life. There's a lot of work to do on it though, but it's yeah. just, uh, you can imagine what it's like in the yeah. city. Yeah. All the people. I think it started off, again, I'm, I'm reading stuff off the net, doesn't mean it's necessarily true, but it started off with 300 workers and at the peak it was about 1,000 workers. Right, you lead the way. Go to the next wall. Unbelievable, isn't it? It is, yeah. All light switch. Don't fancy touching that. Live. I am rolled it, by the way. Put the thickness on it. Iron. Yeah, cast iron. Oh, is it? Oh God, it goes all the way down. Can you uh, see if you can? No, it's very hard, isn't it? Very hard to work. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that, but that goes all the way down. I can see it right down to the basement, but I don't know what that is. Right, we've got the same setup, same infrastructure. What are these here? Oh, they'll be for when they. All oh, right, they're uh, getting, tunneling yeah. down rubbish from the. Yeah, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so much going on, but it's a shame a lot of the artifacts which I wanted to film are not here. This is the rear in the house, remember? Uh, we're admiring the view. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's uh, the toilets? Yeah. Looks so. like it that way, does it? I don't yeah, they look like cubicles. They look like cubicles, don't they? Is any sinks or anything left, or any? Any? There's nothing at all. I think it looks like the way, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon we'll get a measurement on this? Have you got? Have you got your uh, you have, famous yeah. beam of light? Yeah. I have, yeah. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but will it? Will it? Will it reach that far? Well, give it a go. Go on then. Let's give it a go. Yeah. So stand back, folks. Oh, no, this. bro is a beam of light. That's right, yeah. So each floor will relatively be same, I reckon. Yeah, that's what I think. Shall we do the height first? Yep. Let's do the height, okay. And this time it's going to be in feet. In feet, and uh, what we'll do is uh, we won't mention the measurement until the end of the video. And we'll ask the viewers what do they think. So you've got a reading? I've got a reading, yeah. Right. Uh, okay, let me just take. Empty has got his empty has got his scientific calculator out there. 
seven point four six times by eighteen. Anyway, that was a bit of fun. Let's get back to serious work. Uh, next floor, which is the third floor, I think. Well, you can see the workmen have been uh, working hard. They've probably been on a long coffee break. Yeah, Not seen them. Yeah, this is the way we came through, didn't we? It's all right. Oh, this is slightly different. As you go further up, you seem to be training more of its features. I mean, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the fire exit sign. Yeah, wonderful, that. Yeah, good point. As uh, the more we go upstairs, yeah. the more of the original features are hanging around. Look at this here. Yeah, yeah. This uh, this reminds me of back at the bus we were filming the other day. Right. So the first floor we went to was there was a lot of work going on there. Obviously they're doing it step at a time. Mm. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to have done much to it at all. No. It's got some of the original windows. Yeah. In your window. Better lighting, yeah. Just to pull something open. I thought it was to pull a window open. It's probably. I didn't touch it. It might just fall on my head. Yeah, I can you see. Put a sort of safety catch there. Outside. Yeah, I mean the window pane is quite thick though, isn't it? Yeah. Don't ask me to measure that, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually I know where I am now because as you drive up Thorn Road you can actually see this stairwell. Yeah. There you go. What a view that is, eh? Yeah. So you can see parts, other parts of the mill derelict. There are refurbished spaces underneath to let, I think. And they look to be refurbished quite well. You can yeah. see Yeah. Really yeah. Yeah, let's go back in. I don't fancy oh, right, yeah. jumping off that. <clears throat> Uh, the <laughs> doors are from there, so I wonder, Here we'll have uh, pigeons everywhere. Oh, what are you this about? Alright, let's get a stir. Pigeon egg. So have a quick look at this. Alright, look. My god, yeah. Oh, so this is uh, is this the end of it? 
building. So that might be the fifth. Well, I'll tell you what this is. This is probably for the. There's probably some. Um, some. Uh, mobile. Uh, uh, company satellite connections or well, you know for, uh, for 4G, 3G, all the you know all their equipment. You think so? I think it's that, yeah. It looks all quite new, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. Right. Okay, well that's interesting. There's no way I'm going to go up that ladder. Why not? Have a go. Uh, no thanks. No, I'd rather stay here. I would. Behind the camera. No, no, of course not. No. Right. I think this is the last floor then, yeah. See, my guess is this is the fourth floor, and the top bit is the fifth, and that's it. And we can't get to the top bit. Sorry, we can't get to the top bit. But this looks like a safe haven for the pigeons. Yes, isn't it? See again, is that what we said downstairs? The further we were being up, yeah, the less touched it's been. You know, it's not. Yeah. I mean, this looks like it's. So, uh, I mean, it's been, obviously been asset stripped, but... What's this? So, um, still in, in sort of how it used to be. Yeah. It's green, isn't it, really? Canteen area? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Lots of bits of wiring and switches hanging off the uh, ceiling. Look at that. Um, oh dear, let's have a look. Look, check that out. It's really put down for the water, it's water yeah. damage, isn't it? Water damage. Yeah. I don't know about you, from what I can see, it's done really well. Besides that bit of water damage. I know, it has, isn't it? You know, it's not like you're falling to bits. No, no. That surprised me, yeah. Yeah, I've just seen some pigeons come out of there. I wonder if they're nesting, I don't know. What are these, do you think? So that's a quick walk through the D. Illingworth uh, Mill on Thornton Road and I think we've reached top of it. It's the derelict part by the way, I mean it's a massive complex like I said. Uh, so we managed to get on the fourth floor I think because there's another uh, floor on the top which uh, seems to be out of bounds. Right Imtiaz, let's call it a day, let's walk all the way down and shut the door behind you. Okay, I'm shutting it with a little bit of tissue, I'm not getting my hands. Yeah. Dirty. Did you manage to turn off the lights? I did, yes, I did. Good, good, good. All right. Right, let's see what's in the office. Let's have a chat with these guys. Slam again. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just doing some filming outside. This is the Illingworth complex okay. oh, and it's very iconic to Bradford. There's quite a lot of heritage. But the thing is, it's derelict and it's been standing like this for a while now. So I'm really curious how you guys have settled in because you seem to be very busy in the catering section. Yeah. Um, the catering is what we do during the day, obviously, right. Uh, right. for like weddings, events, and yeah. etc. It's all done not over the phone or online. Right. But what we've got going on here at the moment yeah. is uh, the takeaway side, yeah. the takeout, so your burgers. Uh, what we specialise in is like naga. Right. I don't know if you've heard of that. It's like I a have, unique yeah. flavour, yeah. Yeah. And um, so that's what we specialise in and what we're known for up and down the place. Right, right. Um, so we open at 6 o'clock till uh, 3 in the morning. Right. And, um, but how, how, how did you settle in? Because to be honest, I didn't see any signs outside. Yeah, yeah it's busy. And uh, how's that word of mouth for? No, but the, the, the evening thing was more of like a, it was like a last minute thing. Yeah. Because um, because of catering being yeah. a bit slow due to COVID. Yeah. Um, everything we were all in lockdown. Right. So we got such a big premises. Yeah. Um, and you know we, we were deciding like you know what, what should we do? Right. So we set the, the evening side up. The right. Take our side up. 
and um, we didn't expect it to be to get a response that we have had. Well, this this is what I'm time, this yeah. is what I'm surprised about. So, yeah, um, it's, it has been very phenomenal. It's been it's yeah. been massive. Uh, it, it was a good right. project for us as well, but um, right. we've had good experience from it. Yeah, but um, as in you know letting people know it was yeah. word of mouth. And a lot of it was done on social media. Right, yeah, right. So we, we've got like, there's me, there's my yeah. partner, he's got, we've got a large following yeah. on Snapchat. So we started off on Snapchat, yeah. um, sending pictures of the food, right. letting people know what we're doing, introducing yeah. new items. Yeah. And um, alhamdulillah, it, it, it picked up really well. Yeah. And um, the response was, yeah. um, was massive, it was great, it was brilliant. So that, that's what's good about this is because a lot of the buildings, good buildings get knocked down, no, they get burnt yeah. down. So I'm glad in a way you're using this we building. Use it, yeah. yeah, yeah. Considering we're very discreet and hidden. Yeah. You know, the customers will know us when they come in, they yeah, yeah. go through the car park, come on the side on yeah. the road and then be here. Right. We're, not, we're not in nobody's face, we're not in it, like, you know, yeah. on the main road or anything. So yeah. we, did, we did think, right, okay, are people going to gonna struggle to find it? You know, they're going to be like, getting yeah. to get here. Yeah. But, um, we didn't, we, Alhamdulillah, it was really, really good. Um, people didn't mind it because we're not in, like I said, in people's faces. You see, no, no. You've, got, you've got a large amount of parking spots. Yeah. Um, and even considering that we are hidden yeah. and in a very, very discreet location, the response was it's, yeah. it's really massive. As you can see yourself outside. Well, I was struggling to park up. Yeah, there's yeah, loads of people. Absolute loads. So, so there are, I've noticed that a few other retail units, so hopefully, you know. Yeah. They'll they'll do well and uh, hopefully they'll build a build a bit of an atmosphere yeah, no, around here. Our, ourselves, we've got a lot of plans in place. Good, good. To, to you know to expand here. Right. We've okay. got um, we have got a lot of ideas. Yeah. Um, the business itself that we're currently in now is going to be expanding. Right. Um, we have got more branches coming. Right. Uh, franchises also. Good, good. And um, in this mill spot itself, we have got plans to you know make right. it a lot more. That's good. Um, At least um, I was talking to my friend the other day. There's loads of buildings that are empty beautiful mills but yeah. nobody's utilizing yeah, them yeah. so this is good i'm really happy with that so, so we thought you know what let's just, it's, it's an historical yeah. building yeah it's got meaning to it um let's you know bring yeah. something back for it and no, that's good. Oh, thanks for your time. Let's have a quick no, look no, at the uh, the canteen because it sounds hustling and bustling there yeah, yeah. So we'll take it through now right i'm just going to go into the catering area of baraka it gets pretty busy in the evening it looks like Pretty busy, isn't it? These are all your stuff. Yeah, these are all the stuff. Yeah. 